Okay, let's get started. Getting the paints ready. Look at your photograph. Now I'm painting over an old canvas. This is fine. Just sketch out your design. You can also do it completely abstract and just add dots in a harmonious color scheme. Here we go with the background. Just completely fill in the background so that you have solid color. You can see it's building up different shades of green in the back. Use a large brush and hold it close to the end and just go around filling in all of your background.
you've made it this far, I really appreciate it. And if you'd like to like and subscribe, leave comments or questions below. Bonus here, tiny little bit of extra information about each of the DIYs. Um, DIY one was a pontissima or impressionist kind of painting, and I'd like to encourage you to try it. Just doing an abstract painting, you can choose like three colors, and I think it can make a really nice painting, and also, honestly, it's one of the best DIYs I've ever done. I actually spent a lot of time doing it, and while I was doing it, something really strange happened, so that's why this DIY is one of my most absolute favorites. I actually like went into some kind of flow where I totally lost track of time. I um, didn't even know that lunch time had passed and I wasn't even feeling hungry. I was just like totally nourished by this project. So I totally encourage you to try it. It was just so relaxing and just the endomorphines after were just like, wow, I want to do another one another time as well. So let me know if you've tried it and um, hope that it inspires you. So this got me absolutely intrigued about how flow state works and the positive impact it has on our life, health, productivity, and our well-being. Even if you've never heard the word before, some people call it being in the zone, in the groove, or losing track of time. In flow, you feel as if you could keep doing whatever you're doing forever. There's no one single experience that leads to flow. It could happen while you're reading, writing, painting, running, gardening. The topic of flow has me so intrigued that I think I'll make another video about it. So let's get back on topic. The second DIY I did with the Provençal landscape. I'm not a huge uh, fan of loud colors inside our home. It's very minimalist, white, beige, all that. So this was kind of pushing me a little out there, but I did it for my son because he wanted to add a little bit of color to his apartment. And then the last DIY on this video was just absolutely fun again. This yoga mat collage I also made um, in order to add a pop of color to my son's apartment in Paris, and it turned out really fun. And so I, I did enjoy it in the end. It was fun and I hope that you will try it as well or something similar. Thanks again, really appreciate it and we'll see you soon.